A scathing new report tonight about California's response to the homeless crisis. The state auditor says the state has spent $20 billion in five years, but can't meaningfully track the spending or measure results. Well, KCAL News reporter Joy Benedict is live in North Hollywood tonight mm -hmm. with more. Joy? Yeah, guys, I mean, this was a very lengthy audit that was put out by the state earlier today. And what it shows is really everyone's fear, right, that we're throwing a lot of money at a problem and the problem isn't going to be fixed. And although that may be what the audit says on surface level, those who work with the homeless say it's just not that simple. In a community like the Arts District of North Hollywood, the streets are always packed with patrons, neighbors, and the unhoused. They clear them and then they come back, then they clear them and then they come back. I've only been in the area since 2018, and in those few years, I've seen it increase almost exponentially. Um, it is very sad. Numbers a new state audit confirm as the state legislative audit committee released a report saying that homeless numbers jumped 53% in the last decade with an estimated 180,000 people unhoused in California. That's despite the spending of more than $20 billion to stop it. My initial reaction is that this is a big problem. Political analyst Jessica Levinson says the even bigger issue in the report is the lack of accountability. As the audit can't verify that three of the five homeless programs the state is funding are working. And the government is failing to account for where the money is being used and if it's being used wisely. They're not saying the money was misused. They're saying they just can't account for where the money went. There certainly are no allegations here of misappropriation of funds. But this is just a black hole in a space where we need information. But those who work with the homeless say it's just not that simple. The key reason that our homeless numbers are going up is because more people are falling into homelessness. Stephanie Klasky Gamer is the CEO of LA Family Housing, which helped 15,000 people last year alone, either experiencing homelessness or fighting to save their home. The funds that were audited were all emergency response programs that came out during the pandemic. She says she knows how her agency's dollars were spent, but since state dollars are mixed with local funding, they just may be harder to trace statewide. I imagine that gathering data because of how these funds were released is more challenging, not because the funds haven't had an impact. The two programs the audit said are clearly working are CalWORKS and Project Home Key. And Project Home Key dollars were used to purchase motels. So that's an easy quantifiable measure. You you received a hundred million and you bought 10 motels. But she says the bottom line is the funds used to fight homelessness are key, not only for those living on the streets, but everyone in this state. Homelessness is a crisis that responds to resources. Something else interesting I found in this report is there was another section that talked about the number of people that were helped. It was about 321,000 statewide that were taken off the streets, either into permanent housing or temporary housing. And of the quarter million or so that ended up in temporary housing, only 13% of them left to then go into permanent housing. Obviously, that is something that any agency here wants to fix. I'll send it back to you. All right, thanks so much, Joy.